Hey everybody, what's going on? So I'm sure by now you've heard of this this new liberal scandal that just happened, where uh, multiple MPs have been caught essentially giving away you know political secrets to a foreign nation. Most of us think it's China. We we probably just, let's be honest. We we know it's China. Um, but I have a few questions because a lot of people, you know, in the comment section and all over the internet are kind of, you know, mixed on what to do here. And first of all, we need to ask, should these MPs be, like, should their names be revealed to the public? Well, the, the obvious answer to that is yes. Of course they should be named to the public. They, they've committed treason. Like, like, why, how could you protect people when they've, they've literally broken their constitutional right or their constitutional um, what do you want to call it? Their their responsibility, their constitutional responsibility. They've turned their backs on the Canadians, giving away secrets to foreign to foreign agents. I mean, that's insane. Of course, they should be revealed. The second question uh, question is: Should they go to prison? Well, first of all, before you want to talk about throwing anyone in prison, you do have to give them their fair trial, of course. However. <laughs> It really seems like it would be a quick trial, and yes, they should go to prison. If this is all true, of course, you can't just commit treason and get away with it. And by the way, what they used to do to people for treason was, uh, let's just say, much, much worse than going to prison. Right? So, I mean, that that's an easy answer, right? But, oh, well, they shouldn't go to prison, you know, they shouldn't even be tried, they made a mistake. No, they did it on purpose, they've admitted it. And they got caught. And now the Liberal Party, and the NDP party, by the way, is protecting them. Jagmeet Singh is coming out and saying, oh, I'm disgusted by this. I can't believe uh, Justin Trudeau knew about this. For so oh, Then why are you forming a coalition with him still, dummy? Pull out of the, co of the coalition and vote with Pierre Polyev and the Conservatives for a vote of non-confidence and give the, uh, the Canadians the election that we deserve. But they won't. Why? Because Jagmeet Singh is a shill, he's a sellout, he's a coward, and he's just in it for his own pension. This is just an insane amount of bullshit where he just speaks out of one side of his mouth. Well, you know, Trudeau, I hate him, or he doesn't say he hates him, but he, you know, I don't, I don't like this, and I'm disgusted with this, and he has the power to stop corporate greed, and he's not. But then on the other side of his mouth, it's, yeah, I'm going to form a coalition with him and keep him in power. The only reason that makes sense as to why he would do that is for his own pension, which I believe he gets in next October or November. Right around election time. So he's going to wait. He's a coward. That's that's, And that's why he's not going up in the polls. Because Canadians understand that this guy is a coward. He is not in it for Canadians. He's in it for himself and his pension. And his gold Rolex watches and his Gucci bags. Racking up a, a bill of almost $600,000 in expenses on Canadian taxpayers' dime. Pierre Polyev, by the way, only spent $60,000. Like, who, who, is, who are the criminals here? The next question I have is, has Trudeau himself actually committed treason? I've asked a lot of you guys in, the, in some polls that I've put out, and again, Yes. You can argue he's done it many times, but the big, the biggest example of him committing treason is when he invoked the Emergency Act, which the federal court found him guilty for. Now, he's not, he wasn't charged or he's not in prison yet because he's going to appeal it to the Supreme Court, so we'll have to see what happens there. But yes, he has committed treason. He violated our rights. We have constitutional rights in our Charter of Rights. And he broke them with the Emergencies Act. And he did it because people were fucking protesting about mandates and lockdowns, demonizing people, and half of the sheep who like him fell for it too, and most people in Canada, even conservatives, conservatives, like you're not exactly out of the woods here either, you weren't very conservative in 2020, it wasn't really about freedom when you were scared, was it, and I'm not saying all conservatives, there were some, all the, but the only people who really kind of was against the the, um, or opposing these uh, m mandates and these lockdowns and the masks and whatnot was libertarians, independents, and yes, some conservatives. But most Canadians were on the side of take my rights, I'm scared, and make everyone get the jab so I can go camping or fishing or whatever stupid shit you like to do. 
it wasn't even about health. It was for their own stupid reasons. Anyway, that's a whole other subject we can definitely get into on another day. But going back to did Justin, did Justin Trudeau commit treason? Yes. Should he be tried? Yes. If he is convicted, he should at very, very, very least, and this is a very, very minimal sentence that could be given out, it should be much worse than this, but at least bar him from public office. Make sure that him, that you send a message to him and everyone like him saying, you, go, you, won't, you won't get away with that in the future because your people like you are going to be barred for office because you take away, or you take away the rights of Canadian freedoms, and we can't have that. End of story. And that goes for any politician. If Pierre Polyev does some stupid shit like that, or whoever else gets in in the future, you treat them all the same way. You hold them all accountable. And that's what we as Canadians need to start doing a lot better. Remember, we are the bosses, they are our employee, not the other way around, and we need to start acting like it. So that's going to be it for this video, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to click that subscribe button. Really, really helps. Uh, grow the channel and I really really appreciate all of you so far uh, definitely let me know what you think in the comment section and I'll be back shortly with another video